Hi, we're going to be doing the Jungle Jive songs uh, for the Jungle Jive Teacher Guide. So, uh, one of the first songs we're going to do is I Love the Jungle Jive. So we're going to put our arms out like this. So we ask everybody, can you put your arms out like this? And can you rock back and forth really strong like this? Good. Can you swing like a monkey in a tree? Good. I love the Jungle Jive. Come do it with me. Swinging like a monkey from a jungle tree. Rocking back and forth to a jungle beat. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Good. I love the jungle jive. Come do it with me. Swinging like a monkey from a jungle tree. Rocking back and forth to a jungle beat. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Good. And when you have the infant, we'll pretend like a lion is an infant. Oh, I, we'll just rock with a little one like this. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. And you can tickle their feet. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. So that's that one. Okay, uh, two little snicker snakes. Friends. Can you show me two little snicker snakes? Good. Here's one snicker snake, and here's two snicker snakes. And what sound does a snake make? Sss. That's right. Can you make your snakes slide on the grass? Look at them slither and slide on the grass. Good. All right. Show me your snicker snakes. Two little snicker snakes sliding through the grass. One named Kevin, the other named Cass. Slide away, Kevin. Slide away, Cass. Come back, Kevin. Come back, Cass. Oh, they love each other so much. Good. Okay, so that's two little snicker snakes. Um, naughty little monkey. Okay, so for this one, I say friends. Now, I want you to look behind you because the end of this song, we're going to roll backwards. So look behind you. Make sure it's clear. Okay, I'm going to have to scoot up a little bit. Good. So everybody scoot up just a little bit. Look behind you. Okay, good. All right. Arms out one more time. We're going to swing like that monkey. Good, but this time, it's a naughty little monkey like this. Naughty little monkey swinging in a tree, throwing down the coconuts. One, two, three. His friends ran off. They would not play. And the three little coconuts rolled away. Good. Let's try it again. Here we go. Naughty little monkey swinging in a tree, throwing down the coconuts. One, two, three. His friends ran off. They would not play. And the three little coconuts rolled away. Good. And with the infant, we can show the mommies. We can roll them back backwards like this. Or you can roll your whole body backwards. And then in like week three or even week four, I say, naughty little monkey. Why was he so naughty? What did he do? That's right. He was throwing down the coconuts. How many coconuts? One, two, three. That's right. So what happened? What did his friends do? They ran away. That's right. And then what happened to the coconuts? They rolled away. Good. So that's for my preschoolers, but in week uh, three or four, you can start asking them that question. Okay, this song is way up high in the coconut tree, and we really only do this with our infants, but I'll show it to you. So we'll pretend like this is our infant, and we're going to rock them side to side like this. Way up high in the coconut tree, I saw a little coconut smiling down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the coconut, and what was it? Good. So you just tickle them on their on their neck or on their cheek like this one more time. Away up high in the coconut tree, I saw.
saw a little coconut smiling down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. And down came the coconut and what was it good? Something like that. Okay. okay, now we're going to be doing five little monkeys. We have a lot of monkey songs in this session. So first we ask everyone, can you show me five little monkeys? Good. Can you show me your monkeys? Good. All right. Now with your other hand, can you show me an alligator like this? It's hard to do them at the same time. Show me your monkeys and your alligators. Even for Miss Jennifer, that's hard. Good. All right, show me your monkeys. Five little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Oh, okay, Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snatched that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three. Four. Four little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snatched that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three. Little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snatched that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys left? One, two little monkeys sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and he snatched that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? One little monkey sitting in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. And he snatched that monkey right out of that tree. No more monkey sitting in a tree. I better watch out or he might catch me. Good. And if um, you see a little one um, near you, oh, might catch me. And just go grab, grab him and tickle him a little bit. Or if you've got the baby. Uh, am I catch me? Uh, we do it a little faster when we have infants. Um, if we do it at all, I'm trying to think. I think sometimes we, if we have older infants, we do do that uh, finger play. Okay, this is called the spider kept on spinning. Right, so we say, friends, can you roll your hands like this? Good. Let's make a jungle spider spinning his web just like this. The spider kept on spinning, the spider kept on spinning, the spider kept on spinning until his work was done. The snake he kept on hissing, the snake he kept on hissing, the snake he kept on hissing until his work was done. The monkey kept on swinging, the monkey kept on swinging, the monkey kept on swinging until his work was done. The elephant kept on stomping, the elephant kept on stomping, the elephant kept on stomping until his work was done. The butterfly kept on flying, the butterfly kept on flying, the butterfly kept on flying until his work was done. The spider kept on spinning, the spider kept on spinning, the spider kept on spinning until his work was done. This is called Elephants Have Wrinkles. So what we do, we say, everybody, uh, everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Okay, we're all going to hold hands and get into a circle. So we hold hands with our little ones like this. All right, now, who can stomp like an elephant? What does an elephant sound like when he walks? Can you stomp like this? Good. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. So we're walking in a circle around like this. Elephants have wrinkles, a big circle all the way around the room, uh, walking with the little ones like this. Okay, so again, we'll go. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. Now repeat after me. On their toes, on their toes, no one knows, no one knows. Oh, why, 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 why? Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. 
elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. On their knees, on their knees, on their toes, on their toes. No one knows, no one knows why. Aye, aye, aye. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. On their hips, on their hips, on their knees, on their knees, on their toes, on their toes. No one knows, no one knows why. Ay, ay, ay. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. Watch me. On their ears, on their ears, on their hips, on their hips, on their knees, on their knees, on their toes, on their toes. No one knows, no one knows why. Ay, ay, ay. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. Last one. On their heads, on their heads, on their ears, on their ears, on their hips, on their hips, on their knees, on their knees, on their toes, on their toes. No one knows, no one knows why. Ay, ay, ay. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. Good job. Okay, so for preschoolers, you may not have to uh, grab their hands every time. You can just march around in a circle like this so everybody follows each other. Toddlers, you're going to probably need to hold hands just because they're going to wander off and it'll take a little more time. So you'll sing it probably a little bit slower in order to get their hands together. Um, and then when it's an infant, we're going to say, okay, moms, here we go. And we're going to just bounce with our little ones. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. On their toes, on their toes. No one knows, no one knows why. Ay, ay, ay. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles. Elephants have wrinkles, wrinkles everywhere. And then like that. On their heads, on their heads, on their ears, on their ears. On their hips, on their hips, on their knees, on their knees, on their toes. So on and on like that. So you just grab the body part for the infant. No one knows a why. Yai, 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 elephants. Again, I'm singing a little faster than you probably want to sing it, but that's uh, elephants have wrinkles. Okay, lions and tigers and bears, really, really simple. We stay in that same circle and we say, okay, friends, let's hold hands. And we go to the center and we move back out. We say, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. 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 So kind of running in. Fat, getting faster and faster and faster and the kids enjoy that and the babies are out front and we get the babies together in the tight circle and then backing apart and pulling back together they really enjoy that as well so that's lions and tigers and bears um, then we go here we go around the coconut tree it's to the tune of mulberry bush so it's very simple again we're holding hands okay let's hold hands and we go around in the circle here we go around the coconut tree here we go round the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go round the coconut tree so early in the morning. This is the way we swing our arms, swing our arms, swing our arms. This is the way we swing our arms so early in the morning. Here we go round the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go round the coconut tree so early in the morning. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet so early in the morning. Here we go round the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go round the coconut tree so early in the morning. So that's what we would do with toddlers. If we have an infant, toddlers and preschoolers do it that way. With our infant, we just walk around the circle with them. Here we go around the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go around the coconut tree so early in the morning. Then we take them and we say, 
This is the way we bump and bounce, bump and bounce, bump and bounce. This is the way we bump and bounce so early in the morning. Here we go round the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go round the coconut tree so early in the morning. This is the way we swing and sway, swing and sway, swing and sway. This is the way we swing and sway so early in the morning. Here we go round the coconut tree, the coconut tree, the coconut tree. Here we go round the coconut tree so early in the morning. So bump and bounce. I guess I should have done more like this. Bump and bounce. And then swing and sway, swing and sway, swing and sway, swing and sway. We do that with the infants. So, so um, that's here we go round the coconut tree. This is a really fun one. Uh, monkey climbing in a tree. So I say to my friends, okay, let's pretend like we're monkeys. Can you climb like a monkey does? Can you climb up high in a tree? Good. Now, can you hide like a monkey? Hide like a monkey. Boo! Good. Hide like the monkey. Boo! Good. All right, can you scratch like a monkey? Ooh, he scratches under his arms, right? Can you scratch like a monkey like this? Good. And one more time, climb like the monkey. Good! All right, climb with me. Monkey climbing in a tree. Monkey climbing just like me. Monkey climbing to this song. And he bang on the coconut. Bong, bong, bong. Bang it high. Bang it low. Bang another coconut. Around you go. Very good. Now, monkey hiding in a tree. Boo! Monkey hiding just like me. Boo! Monkey hiding to this song. Boo! He bang on the coconut. Bong, bong, bong. Bang it high. Bang it low. Bang another coconut. Around you go. Good. Monkey scratching in a tree. Ooh, 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 ooh. Monkey scratching just like me. Ooh, 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 ooh. Monkey scratching to this song. And he bang on the coconut. Bong, bong, bong. Bang it high. Bang it low. Bang another coconut. Around you go. Good. Monkey hiding in a tree. Boo! Monkey hiding just like me. Boo! Monkey hiding to this song. Boo! He bang on the coconut. Bong, bong, bong. Bang it high. Bang it low. Bring another coconut around you go. So I did hiding twice instead of climbing twice. They love the hiding one so much and it's just so short. So I usually do hiding twice and finish the song, but it's super cute. A jungle frog sat on a log. I don't do this one too often, but it's kind of fun just to get their bodies warmed up or get them moving again if they've been sitting down for a long time. So I say, okay, friends, can we squat like a frog? Can you get down here with a froggy like this? You know how he sticks his legs out like this? But what does a froggy do? He jumps, doesn't he? Can he do this? Good. Now can you bounce a little bit? Good. A jungle frog sat on a log, getting hot and hotter. He had a thought, why be hot? And jumped into the water. We'll try it again. So it really is just getting them kind of on their bottoms and just bouncing a little bit. A jungle frog sat on a log, getting hot and hotter. He had a thought, why be hot? And jumped into the water. Okay, so now we're going to do uh, the coconut shell drum. So I'm going to pass out the coconuts and pass out the coconut shells. And we talk a little bit about them. Say, do you know what a coconut is? It's a giant nut and it hangs up in the tree. Now imagine somebody cut the top of it off and they cleaned out all the yummy meat inside. It's the fruit that's inside the coconut. It's white and flaky and delicious. And there's coconut milk. You can drink the milk. Look, 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 look. It's super delicious. But I turned them into drums. So we'll take our drum. We'll set it right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. We'll put our coconut shell drum right in front of us. Good. I know. It's so loud, isn't it? Four, three, two, one. Stop. Let's try to keep a steady beat. Try to keep a steady beat. 
Good, good. Try to keep a steady beat. Good, good. And four, three, two, one. Stop. Good. Now, do you know the word in music for loudly? How do you say loudly? Forte. That's right. Let's say forte all together. Forte. All right. Let me hear you play your drums loudly. Let me hear you play forte. Good. really loud. Probably can take it with the coconut shell drums. Four, three, two, one. Stop. Now the word in music for quietly or to play softly, to play softly, shh, it's called piano. Let's play softly. Let's play piano. And four, three, two, one, stop. Then you play forte again, then you play piano again, and then you put on a recorded song, and you just play with your coconut shell drum like this. You can bring it up. Sometimes you don't even have to give them direction, just do it yourself, let them watch. ways you can play the coconut shell drums. Right now we're doing the Eight Silly Monkeys book. Uh, whenever we do a book of any kind in any session, we talk about the title. The title is on the front of the book. It's called Eight Silly Monkeys. Now, let's open our book up. Now, one thing I tell the moms is, I say, so mommies, if your little one wants to flip through more quickly, or if they want to read the book upside down, or if they want to just flap the book like this, let them. It's fine. They're very young. We want them to hold and touch and feel books. There's no right way to read a book when you're little. Um, so, but if any of you are on the same page with us, then we'll go through. As they, the kids get older, they're going to want to go through the book the way it's intended to do. But for when they're little, they like to feel it. They like to toss it. They like to step on it. They like to smell it. All of those things are, are fine as long as they're interacting with the book or listening to the words of the book or being a part of the environment where the book is being read. It's all perfectly fine. Anyway, so we're going to open it up. Now, because this book has words that are um, different through the book, we're going to keep the same words and we're going to do some tapping like this. But before we do that, I want you to find the number eight. Can you put your finger on the number eight right there? Good. Now let's count our monkeys together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, tap with me. Here we go. Eight silly monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, turn the page. Good. Oh, how many monkeys on the bed? Can you put your finger on the number seven? Where's the number seven? Good. Let's count our monkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Tap with me, moms. Great. Seven little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Turn the page. All right, let's put our finger on the number six. Good, let's count our monkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we tap, but we do the same words over and over again for consistency. All right, then we get down to the very back and we say, all right, put your finger on the number one. Good, now let's count our monkey. Ready? One. Nice, all right, tap with me. Good. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. But, turn the page, nobody mentioned anything about jumping on the couch. So that's how we end the book like that. Um, 
Great. So, and then I say to our friends, great job, my friends. All right, let's stack our books on top of each other. Mommies, you've got books just like this at home. Books with really good uh, rhythm patterns. Dr. Seuss is just like this. So go ahead and bounce your little one. If they're in your lap and you're reading or tap their knee while you're reading it, it's just another way to incorporate rhythm and stuff that we do every day. Okay, uh, this is uh, making your own rainstorm. This is really more for um, older toddlers and preschoolers, but I asked them, would you like to make your own rainstorm, friends? Okay, watch this. Follow me. Do exactly what I do. Ready? Here we go. So that you can do with them and you can take a little bit more time with them to do it. But with the whole room doing it with parents, you can hear sort of the crescendo and day crescendo of the rainstorm. So that's kind of fun. Okay, uh, well, let's see. I've got my elephant puppet right here, this odd little thing. People say it looks like a mouse, but it is an elephant puppet. We say, all right, here's our elephant. Now, how many eyes does an elephant have? One, two. How many eyes do you have? One, two. Good. How about an elephant's ears? Very good. Now, what do you call an elephant's nose? Where's your nose? Good. What do you call an elephant's nose? A trunk. That's right. The elephant carries a great big trunk, but he never packs it with clothes. No shirt, no shoes, no overcoat, but he takes it wherever he goes. The elephant carries a great big trunk, but he never packs it with clothes. No shirt, no shoes, no overcoat, but he takes it wherever he goes. One more time. The elephant carries a great big trunk, but he never packs it with clothes. No shirt, no shoes, no overcoat, but he takes it wherever he goes. Good. Hopefully you got that melody. Um, and then we put on a song and we tap the elephant like this. It's the baby elephant walk. Da -da 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 Good. And then we side to side like this. Up high. Good. He can bounce on the ground like that. You can bounce him on your tummy. Good. You can bounce him on your toes. So lots of different ways. And then we do the major scale like we do with all of our puppets. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And I think that's on our core songs. We say, everybody get into major scale position, which is like this. And we start down low. Ready? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And then we go a little faster and a little faster. Then high do, all the way up here, and the low do. So that's all we do with the elephant puppet. Okay, um, next we've got our croc puppet. All right, this is Mr. Crocodile. You're going to find some kids are a little bit afraid of crocodile, and that's okay. So honor their fear and stay back from them. But you, he's just pretend he's a puppet. You can even put your fingers in here. He can give you a little love chop. You can feel his teeth are just made out of plastic. He's just a puppet. All right, but if Mr. Croc could have his way, we'd all be crocodile food today. With a chomp, chomp here and a chomp, chomp there. Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere a chomp. If Mr. Croc could have his way, we'd all be crocodile food today. With a chomp chomp here and a chomp chomp there. Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere a chomp. If Mr. Croc could have his way, we'd all be crocodile food today. So um, that's the song. And as you go up, you move from this spot. I'm staying here because the video is straight on me. 
but you're going to go out to the kids and go up and just do their toes with a jump, jump here and a jump, jump there. Here a chomp. If they're feeling kind of brave and they're giggly, you can chomp them on their arm. There may be some kids that stand up and start racing, so you have to be careful and kind of sensitive to that and not encourage it too much because they might bang into each other. But anyway, so that's the croc song. Uh, and then we do the major scale with croc. So that's it for the crocodile. Let's see, uh, Toby the Tiger, these are all really simple songs. We talk about Toby, he's a tiger cub, he's a baby tiger, and we call baby tigers cubs. That's right, now can you clap your hands like this with Toby? Good, now we let the little ones uh, pet the puppets. If they want to come up and pet the puppet, they can. We can feed the puppet. We say, what do you think tigers want to eat? cherries or lollipops or ice cream they'll say anything and anything's okay and you say would you like to feed them oh good Do you want to feed them some more oh good um if they you can say oh did you bring anything for toby to eat today did anybody bring any um oh gosh tigers eat meat any meat you can just say did anybody bring any meat today for the tiger they say, no, I think you brought some. Did mommy bring some? Oh, she did. And she'll hold her hand out. And you can feed mommy uh, from mommy's hand, feed the tiger from mommy's hand, and then the little ones will, will get it and understand what you're doing. Anyway, for this one, we just uh, tap like this. We clap. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's right. We tap our knees. That's right. And it goes a little faster than this. We tap like this. Good, everyone. Can you tap with me? Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon my knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon my knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon my knees. Now let's all tap softly, please. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Now let's all tap loudly, please. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Little Toby Tiger likes to tap upon your knees. Now let's all stop tapping, please. And then we stop like that. But you're gonna go all the way around the room softly, loudly, you know, do a, a couple of kids at a time going around, whoever will let you tap on their knees gently. You sing the song and then when you're nice and loud, now let's all stop tapping, please. And we stop like that, okay? So that is the tiger puppet. Uh, Froggy went and Corton. Oh, my voice is so tired today. Uh, Froggy went and Corton. All right, friends, look at our frog. Do you want to come and touch the frog? He's just pretend, I know. Frogs are really slimy kind of in real life, huh? But this one's soft. He's soft and fluffy. Good, did you want to feed the frog something? Do you know what frogs like to eat? Flies. Did you bring a fly today? Do you want to feed him a fly? We let him feed the flies. Oh, like that, good. All right, can you guys clap your hands like this? Mommies too, can you guys help me clap? Good, good. Frog went according and he did go, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went according and he did go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went according and he did go right down to that water hole. Froggy went according and he did go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good. Froggy went according and he did go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went according and he did go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Froggy went Gordon and he did go right down to that water hole. Froggy went Gordon and he did go. Uh huh, uh huh. Good. All right, now mommies and little ones, can you repeat the uh huh after Miss Jennifer? I'll sing uh huh, and you'll sing uh huh right after me. You want to try it again? All right, clap your hands, nice and strong. Here we go. Froggy went Gordon and he did go. Uh huh. Aha, uh -huh. good. Froggy went and Gordon and he did go. Aha, uh -huh. your turn. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Froggy went and Gordon and he did go right down to that water hole. Froggy went and Gordon and he did go. Aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. Excellent. All right, so we do that. Um, yeah, that's it. And then the major scale with the frog too. All right. Let's see. What other puppet do we have? Oh, the monkey puppet. 
Okay. Monkey's the same. What kind of creature is this? Yes, oh, monkey's a little shy. Can you come and pet the monkey? What do monkeys like to eat? Bananas, that's right. Who wants to feed the monkey a banana? Good, oh, good, yummy bananas. How did you guys remember to bring bananas today? Very good job. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so before um, we, oh, that's right. We're gonna do the monkey song, so. Um, we're just going to clap our hands with monkey like this. Good, one more time, good. I'm a little monkey, monkey, monkey. I'm a little monkey, yes I am. Swinging through the trees, trees, trees. Swinging through the trees, yes I am. Clap along with me, me, me. Clap along with me if you can. I'm a little monkey, monkey, monkey. I'm a little monkey, yes I am. Swinging through the trees, 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 swinging through the trees, yes I am. Clap along with me, 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 clap along with me if you can. So that's a monkey song. All right, and then one more we do with monkey. We say monkey climbs up, up, up. Can you stretch your arms way up high? And monkey climbs down, up and down. Good. Now monkey can climb side to side too. Can you twist like this? Twist like monkey. Oh, good. He climbs side to side. He can also climb round and round. Big stretches. Round and round. Good. I climb up and down. I climb up and down. I climb up and down. Up in a big tall tree. I climb side to side, I climb side to side, I climb side to side, up in a big tall tree, round and round, I climb round and round, I climb round and round, good, I climb round and round, up in a big tall tree, good. So that's all we do with Mikey, and then we do the major scale. Okay, um, and then we are not going to do Lionel the Leopard. That's a puppet that can't be duplicated and has been put to rest. So no Lionel the Leopard. Um, we have the butterfly puppet. Okay, so we say, friends, look at our beautiful butterfly. Can everybody come and get one? Now look, you can put your finger inside. It's a finger puppet. Mommy might need to help you. Mommy or Nanny, but put your finger in there. Good. Can you make your butterfly fly like this? Good, nice. Butterfly, butterfly, fly so low. Can you make him fly down low down here? Good. Butterfly, butterfly, fly so high. Butterfly, butterfly, here we go. Butterfly, butterfly, up to the Butterfly, butterfly, fly so low. Butterfly, butterfly, fly so high. Butterfly, butterfly, here we go. Butterfly, butterfly, up to the sky. Butterfly, butterfly, fly so low. Butterfly, butterfly, fly so high. Butterfly, butterfly, here we go. Butterfly, butterfly, up to the sky. Good. And then with butterfly, we also do, I fly up and down. I fly up and down. I fly up and down. Up in the big blue sky and side to side. I fly side to side. I fly side to side. Good. I fly side to side. Up in the big blue sky, round and round. I fly round and round. I fly round and round. I fly round and round. Up in the big blue sky. Good. And one other one you can do with the butterfly is I'm gonna fly and fly and fly and stop. And that's one that's on the core songs. You're standing and going in a circle. Um, so we can take our butterflies and we can fly like this. I'm gonna fly and fly and fly and stop. And then that gets faster and faster. And then um, that's another one that you can do with the butterfly. That's, um, those are all the puppets. 
Okay, this is the felt board activity. This one can sometimes be tricky. Uh, when we bring out the felt board, we don't have any of this stuff in here because if we do, the toddlers and everybody's going to grab it. Um, we do our felt board activity uh, differently between the three, the three groups of kids. Um, if we have preschoolers, so older kids, we're going to take our creatures and we're going to give them to the child. So Tommy will get a frog and Susie will get a leopard and Johnny's going to get the alligator, butterfly, elephant, so all of those. And they'll have those in their hand. And we're going to tap our knees like this, and I'm going to say, Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A frog, ribbit, 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 come and follow me. Now, who has the frog? Johnny has the frog. Johnny, can you come up and put the frog on the board for Miss Jennifer? He's going to walk up, and he's going to put the frog like this, and we go, Good, tap with me. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A frog, ribbit, 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 come and follow me, be a frog. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Yes, walking through the jungle, what did I see? A leopard, ra ra ra. come and follow me. Who has the leopard? Oh, Terry has the leopard. Terry, can you come and put the leopard on the board for me? Terry may come over here and put the leopard like this upside down and on the edge. Don't ever take it off and move it to the middle and put it on correctly. Never do that. Go ahead. Leave it where they put it. If it's falling off, then maybe you can help them. Don't turn it around or anything, but just put it down at the bottom for them if they can do, um, if, um, if they're still near you or even if they've walked away, but just put it gently here, much like the way that they attempted to put it on the board. Okay, so we're going to tap again. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A leopard, ra ra ra, come and follow me. Ra 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 good. Ra 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 ra. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? An alligator, chomp 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 chomp, come and follow me. Who has the alligator? Larry has the alligator. Can you put the alligator up on the board for me? And he'll put it down here. Sometimes they just all congregate right down here at the bottom. Or he's going to put it on top. We just leave it the best that we can. Good. Here we go. Uh, walking through the jungle, what did I see? An alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Come and follow me. Here we go. Chomp, 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 chomp. Good. Chomp, chomp. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A butterfly, good. Flap, 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 come and follow me. Who has the butterfly? Who's got the butterfly? Susie has the butterfly. Let's put it on the board, Susie. Good, while she's putting it up there, can you guys tap your knees? Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A butterfly, flap, 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 come and follow me. Flap your wings, flap, 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 flap. flap. Flap, flap, oh, actually it's flutter. Flutter, 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 good. Flutter, 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 flutter. The reason it's flutter is because of the bat. Uh, some, um, not in this group, but another group, I have bats, and that's flap, flap, okay? And so the elephant is stomp, stomp, and we would just have our feet, and we go stomp, 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 walking through the jungle, and then we have our monkey. I think that's a banana in his hand. Yeah, I'll put a banana. So, stomp, uh, uh, monkey, um, oh, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, hoo, hoo, ha. So, walking through the jungle, what did I see? A monkey, hoo, ha, ha, come and follow me. Here we go. Hoo, hoo, ha, ha, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, hoo, hoo, ha, ha, hoo, hoo, ha. Something like that, okay? Then walking through the jungle, what did I see? A toucan. Ga, 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 come and follow me. Ga, 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 good. Ga, 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 good. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A snake. Yes, yes, yes. Come and follow me. Here we go. Good. Okay, I know I've been kind of inconsistent with the bum, bum, bum. 
walking through the jungle. That's how I do it. But if it's easier to do walking through the jungle, what did I see? That's certainly easier for kids and parents to follow along. So either way. And then just try to figure out that um, word, the way the words go. Um, if your preschoolers have it, walking through the jungle, what did I see? A lion, rah, 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 come and follow me. Who has the lion? Let's put the lion on the board. As they're putting the lion on the board, then you can start it up again. So you do it like that. Now, if you have toddlers, you hold on to them. And you need to tuck them away because they're going to kind of come and take, if you put them out here, they're going to take them away, or you put them here or here, they're going to take them. So walking through the jungle, what did I see? What is this called? An alligator, that's right. And what's an alligator say? Chomp, chomp, chomp. Good. Susie, can you put the alligator on the board for Miss Jennifer? Good. All right, while we tap our knees, can you do say this for me? Walking through the jungle, what did I see? An alligator, chomp, chomp. Chomp, come and follow me. Here we go. Chomp, 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 chomp. Good. Chomp, 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 chomp. Yes, walking through the jungle. What did I see? What is this called? What is that? An elephant. That's right. What's an elephant do? He goes stomp, stomp, stomp. That's right. Okay, Terry, can you put the elephant on the board? Good. All right, with me. Walking through the jungle. What did I see? An elephant stomp, 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 come and follow me, here we go, stomp, stomp, stomp. Anyway, but these are tucked away over here or somewhere tucked like this. So we do that with toddlers. Now, with infants, we do the whole thing. We show it to them and we put it on the board. We show it to them and we put it on the board and we just tap and mommies are tapping their little ones on their knees or just kind of bouncing them while we do it and just kind of keep it as rhythmic as you can. Good. Um, if you, say for example, you have six students and you've got these extra ones, don't do them. Just tuck them away. If, say you've got all of them up and you have ten students, what I would do is as you're getting close to the tenth and they've put them up, one of the first two that you've put up, go ahead and take them back down again. And then you'll have two more in your hand because they're, they're, they'll forget that you've um, that's already been up there, or even it reinforces it, even if it um, if they see it again. And then you hand them out, and you just keep going through as much as you need to. Now, with toddlers and preschoolers, they love putting these on and taking them off, and you're going to have kids come up. You're going to have it controlled in the very beginning, but after that it's going to be chaos. If they come up and take them off and walk away, that's okay. You just keep doing the chant with the ones that you can remember. They may all be off in their pockets. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A butterfly flutter, 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 come and follow me. Good, flutter, 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 flutter. Walking through the jungle, what did I see? A monkey, hoo, 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 come and follow me. Here we go, hoo, hoo, ah, ah. Now, if they're nearby, you can hand it to them and just let them put them up and you just keep chanting and they're going to put them, up, put them up and take one down, hand it to another one, they'll put it up. It just becomes chaos after a while, but just kind of keeping that underlying beat if you can. Anyway, so felt board's a little tricky. It's one that we, we should probably go over before we do it, but that's kind of that's uh, how we do this activity. These are some of the guitar songs for the Jungle Jive session. There's only a couple of brand new songs that we do for this session. Um, first one we'll do is I Love the Jungle Jive, okay? It goes like this. I love the jungle jive, come do it with me. Swinging like a monkey from a jungle tree. Rocking back and forth to a jungle beat. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. I love the jungle jive, come do it with me. Swinging like a monkey from a jungle tree, rocking back and forth to a jungle beat. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. Oh, I love the jungle jive from my head to my feet. I don't think that was perfect, but um, at least you know what the song sounds like. Okay, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree like this. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, 
mighty, mighty king of the bushes, he laughed. Kookaburra laughed, Kookaburra gay, your life must be. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, eating all the gum drops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop, Kookaburra, leave some there for me. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Are my sunshine, but I think that's on the core songs, but I still have it here. So let's do you or my sunshine. I always say, help Miss Jennifer, let's count to three. One, two, three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. 